long haul Larry and we're out here in the ADL shop we're working as our mechanical duties right now and I'm working on 801 um, 801 has been having an issue with coolant um, the last time I was in here I think it was the last time um, I ended up having to the boss had me change this hose right off the coolant tank the, I guess the driver told him that the hose was, he thinks the hose is leaking because every once in a while he has to add coolant. And I guess the driver told him that, I guess, I don't know. I didn't see no coolant leak, but I changed it like the boss wanted it. And it still, it came in here and I noticed it was down on the minimum mark. Um, the problem was that these Volvos is, of course, they have special threads on their coolant camp. This coolant cap right here. And the whole coolant tester system that we have does not have a, a one that fits us. We, it, it fits like every other vehicle, every other truck, but don't have one for the Volvos. It's a special thread. So what I, I had an idea is to take one of the caps that we never used and actually pull the fitting out. And the boss got an extra coolant tape cap and I... I drilled a hole in it and mounted it down in there and sealed it and everything. Mounted the fitting in there so that I could use my coolant tester. And I pressurized the system and I found the problem. It is right here. <clears throat> it's actually leaking down. This is the supply and return line for the coolant that goes into the... Um, I can't even think of what it's called... Uh, I know everybody's yelling at the screen right now. <laughs> it's um, whatever, the little radiator thing in, in there for the heating, the heater core. There you go. And um, the coolant goes into it, and it looks like there's a rubber gasket or something probably in there. And it's actually leaking out around these lines, and it's going down here, and it's running over. And look at that. It's coming out. Um, I thought maybe it was a heater core or something, but it looks like it's just a rubber gasket. So that's pretty simple, I think. So I just got like one screw there and I could pull that off, but I don't have a new gasket. So I sent a message to the boss about it. I'm going to see if he can give me a gasket today. I can fix that up. All right, guys, we got this apart. What it is, is it's just kind of little fittings on there and they got an O-ring on there. Uh, the O-ring had some, uh, some flat spots on it and stuff like that. Um, I mashed them up to some all ring kits that we had and I got some that look just like them. So they should, should fit right in there. So we're going to put these in there and, uh, see what, uh, see if we can seal this up. Well, guys, I put the new oil rings that we had here in the shop. I put those in there. I put coolant in. I ran it all up to temperature. Let it sit and burp and everything. And then I put my coolant tester back on with the pressure tester. Did all that. And it still leaks. The oil rings that we have are thinner. This is just the, the oil ring right here. And the oil rings that we have in the shop here are actually thinner. Um... We've actually I made some phone calls at different Volvo places and stuff. And the only place that has the correct O-rings is in Baltimore. So I got to run all the way to Baltimore to get two little O-rings. You know, and I'm thinking the cheapest and fastest way to get there is probably, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're making a run to Baltimore. We got back from Baltimore 
and got the right O-rings and installed them and it still leaked. Frustrated me. So I drained the coolant again. Then I put the O-rings in and what I did is I cleaned up the end of these pipe. Cleaned them up again. I put RTV. I put a bead of RTV around the pipes. Put the O-ring on and put a bead of RTV around the O-ring. Did it on both pipes. Put it back in there. Let it sit for two hours. And then I put antifreeze back in. Ran it. Got all the air bubbles out. Put my pressure tester on there. Didn't leak. I went and was working on another truck. Came back about a half an hour later, looked at it, and it was leaking again. Still dripping. I don't know. So, I think this here is messed up. I think this whole piece. And that mounts from the inside of the truck. Um, it's what the, the heater core is mounted to and everything. Here's your condenser or your evaporator gets mounted into it inside there and stuff. It seems like it's crooked, and these pipes don't seem like they're mounting straight on it. So, the boss wants me now, I don't know, I'll tell you the truth, I think it should just go back to, I think it should go to a Volvo place. Yeah, I think this should be a warranty issue, because this thing has leaked, I guess, pretty much since we've had this truck. He's had it, he said, in two different shops, and nobody can find the leak. And then I found it, and mainly it's because I found that, I made that little tester, and that thing works so good. But, so now, I don't know. I think it should go to Volvo shop. I think there's a warranty. But he says it wouldn't be covered on a warranty. I don't know. But you can see this thing. It's like sticking out way here. Then it goes in. I mean, look at this side. It's actually further in than a metal there. And the top is sticking out. It's just not sitting right. So, I don't know. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, pull it off, clean it, put RTV on it, put an O-ring back on it. RTV, put another O-ring on it, RTV, put it back in there, let it sit, and we'll see if that fixes the problem, I guess. Pain in the butt. Problem. Guys, we finally got this leak taken care of. <laughs> we doubled the O-rings up, and that got it taken care of. I'm telling you, it's this thing is it's warped. or They messed it up when they installed it or something. But this thing has been leaking since we've gotten this truck. My boss has had it in two different shops. They could never find a leak. I got this little tester I made up. It, I didn't make the tester up. What I did is I made this cap up because none of the caps in any of the testers I could find would fit these Volvos. They're special thread. And uh, I bought my, I had the boss buy just another cap. I cut this knob off the top. And I had a cap that we would never use for some. I, th I think it was for some Audi car or something. And I took the little nipple part that fits the tester, and I drilled a hole and threaded it in there and everything, made my own little tester. That's how I found a leak, because I've looked for this leak before, and I could never find it. But this is the fourth time that I've had to drain the system, trying different things, finally got it. I think a lot of it, what it was, is because it's warped like this, so it's, it's at an angle, and see, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I got spacers in here. I put washers in between here. This wasn't, and I think what was happening is when you tighten this bracket down, it pulls it. It twists the pipes, and so then that, that makes it leak because it's that piece is not straight. So I put some spacers in there, and I pushed up on it and made the pipes so they're straight into the holes, and that worked. I'm very happy. So I got to put the truck back all back together. Put all the air cleaning stuff back on here. And this truck is done. I'll show you guys the little drain cock thing I put for the antifreeze. Alright, there you guys can see what I did. Put a drain cock in here for the antifreeze. It's actually off of an air compressor. And uh, it's quarter inch. And so what you do is just put a wrench on here and just, just put a pliers on here. Just open it. The coolant will just drain straight down. Hoping it misses the leaf spring. It'll be close. But um, there you go. I mean, it's good, guys. I'm going to put these on all the trucks. That way they, you know, if you, whenever I 
have to drain the coolant to do fix something, I'm just going to put one of these on. I bought a bunch of these different fittings so I can just put them from truck to truck, rig them up. Makes it so much easier, less mess. Awesome. So we are good to go. So I just got to pop the bumper back on. It's four bolts and we plug in a wire harness, put the bumper back on. I'm going to power wash the engine to get all this stuff off. I finally fixed this leak in this truck. Did a full service. Um, I did all kinds of little things to it. I think I videoed it. I don't even remember what I videoed anymore. I'm getting tired. Um, but everything is all good. This truck is ready to roll. That makes me happy. Finally got this leak fixed. You can see what I did there. See, it's just a cap, and it, this fitting just snaps into there. Fits my tester, and I just screwed it in there, and I actually put some silicone around it to make sure it seals and stuff. Pretty simple. It fits this truck. We got one that fits Volvos. Cool. Well, I got to put the air box back on, put this bumper back in, finish this thing up, and this one's out of here. On to the next. So, I hope everyone out there is having themselves a great day, great night, as they watch this here video. And if you are not, certainly just try that all over again tomorrow. I will catch you guys later. Got to keep on working. See ya.